Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, that is when I shared our cottage kitchen makeover reveal, and I just showed a quick peek of this cabinet. So today I wanted to share a detailed video of me making over this cabinet. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, and I think I paid a hundred or maybe $125 for it. But after removing our upper cabinets on this wall, I thought this would be a perfect piece to add back to the kitchen, which actually brought us so much extra cabinet space. I haven't even used the bottom two cabinets. So if you're wondering where we are putting all the things in those cabinets, this cabinet has definitely helped with that. We also moved our fridge across the room into the laundry room. So we are turning that into a shared pantry and laundry room. Anyway, if you miss the paint color, it's called khaki green and it's a glidden color, which is sold at Walmart. But I went to Lowe's and I had them make it for me there. I got one quart of their cabinet paint with a satin sheen and I had plenty of paint left over after doing two coats. And I also painted the inside of the doors. If you wanna paint the entire thing, you might wanna just go with a gallon, but I think I still had half of a quart left after doing two full coats. So I'm going to give this a quick cover and then I'll jump back on to share how I antique this cabinet after it was painted. So it's been over 24 hours since I painted this cabinet. 
I wanted it to sit for a little while before I started going in with a brown and adding like an antique look to it. I'm following a tutorial. I found this girl on Instagram named Megan Miller. I will have her Instagram below, but I saw this really amazing cabinet that she has. I assumed it was an antique the way it looked. And when I found like a tutorial on her Instagram highlight, that she actually made it look like that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna attempt that. So I grabbed a ton of different paint samples and I brought them into my house, had the lights on, had the lights off, and decided which one looked the very best on the cabinet. So I went with this color. Again, I will have that listed below. But as far as her like antiquing method, it's really cool. The way she did this, it was like with paper towels, some brown paint, some like wiry brushes. So we're going to get to antiquing now and I'll be walking you guys through how I'm doing this. The good thing is if this doesn't work out how I thought, I can repaint it because I have a ton of paint left over, at least half the container, and then I can try a different method. I've used brown wax before and that worked. Ah! Yeah, there's Mickey. Okay, sorry about that. Again, I've used brown wax before and I really like the way it looks, but I wanna try her method and we'll see how this works. I ended up using a burnt umber brown color, which I liked a lot more instead of this lighter brown color. But I also wanted to say, if you attempt this, I would start with the edges of the cabinet instead of starting with the knobs. It was super helpful to get some technique down as far as how hard I should push, how much paint I should apply before starting in the dead center. So get your technique down before you go ahead and start painting the middle of the cabinet. I feel like it's just easier to start with the edges. I also end up going over this again with a light coat of the original green color, which I felt made this technique look so much better. So I will show an up close of that here at the end. I did end up using this burnt umber color as well, and I'm actually using half and half. So I like a light brown dot here and a dark brown dot here. And what I've been doing is just like dabbing it in here, dabbing it in here, and then as you can see all the little brush strokes, I'm just kind of getting a lot of it off. And then I go in with this brush. This has worked wonders, so I highly recommend them. I think they're like 50 cents at Lowe's. This has been a game changer. I wish I wouldn't have gone in with the knobs first, but I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing to kind of add more wear look to it rather than like a big brown paint splat.
Well, that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. I have tons of Christmas content coming your way. So thanks again, and we'll see you guys in the next video.